Everything we are comes from the Brunswick family and the Benzinger family. They established the mores of this company. They established the standards of this company. They got us into the base business that we continue to be in for almost 170 years, billiards. So everything we are, we owe to that family. And the fact that they were able to do it for almost 14 decades is truly remarkable in the world. It's a name familiar the world over, immediately recognizable and unmistakable. Brunswick is synonymous with leisure, competition, and good times with family and friends around the billiards table. The game of billiards, or pool as it's commonly known today, dates its origins to the 15th century. Many variations have evolved, from three cushion billiards to snooker, to today's popular eight ball and nine ball. Yet the game has maintained a high degree of continuity over the years, and these subtle changes have only added to its popularity and appeal. Billiards were first introduced to America around the time of our nation's founding, and pool tables have frequently adorned the White House, dating back to the administration of John Quincy Adams. But it took an immigrant from Switzerland's Rhine Valley and a family that shared his drive and passion to elevate billiards to the level of global popularity it still enjoys today. John Moses Brunswick came to America in 1834, alone, at the age of just 14. But in this land of opportunity, he quickly thrived, and just over a decade later, founded a fine woodworking shop in Cincinnati. At about that time, Brunswick attended a party where he was shown an imported billiards table. He was instantly fascinated by the fine craftsmanship. This chance encounter would change his life, and it would mark the beginning of the Brunswick Company's long affiliation with billiards. Saw a pool table, and that happened to be a John Thurston, which is the oldest billiard company in the world from England, and was fascinated with it and said, I can make one, and he did. And within two years, he was sending tables all over the United States. Literally, he started with nothing. But he saw the value, and he said that this will be uh, an industry or product that eventually will catch on in America. To help him achieve his entrepreneurial vision, Brunswick sent for his four half-brothers to join him in America. Beginning in the 1850s, the Brunswick brothers competed with other billiards manufacturers aggressively. They controlled the market. They controlled a lot of the raw resources that went in the tables. They used only the finest raw materials. And again, they, they had the craftsmen that you know, did those jobs every day, whether it was carved or inlaid, and they perfected that professionalism. And so they, if it was like John Brunswick used to say, if it was made out of wood, we can make it better. By 1848, the Brunswick family had successfully expanded its operations from Cincinnati to Chicago, New Orleans, and St. Louis. Shortly afterwards, the company went international with offices in Paris, London, Buenos Aires, and Mexico City. And just two decades later, while the popularity of billiards skyrocketed and thousands of fans were purchasing tickets to watch high-profile championships, Brunswick was one of only three major manufacturers left standing. Son-in-law Moses Bensinger shared John Brunswick's business acumen and ambition. As Brunswick's right-hand man, Bensinger spearheaded the company's mergers with the two other largest billiards companies. In 1884, the newly established Brunswick Bulk Colander Company was larger than all of its competitors combined. Following the passing of John Brunswick in 1886, Bensinger would take the company's helm and continue a tradition of expansion, as would his son, Benjamin. Brunswick company leadership stayed in the family for more than 120 years, longer than most any family-run company in American enterprise history. For the first 121 years, Brunswick family ran the company, and that's pretty amazing right there. And all of the Brunswicks and the Binsingers uh, that were part of that Brunswick original family, down through the probably seven generations maybe, had that goal to make the best product. That has been continued on, I think there's been six CEO since then, 
and uh, they have somewhat tried to keep that dream alive too. Like the elegant, functional tables the company continues to produce, the Brunswick Bensinger family's legacy has endured the test of time, and its mark on the American sports story lives on.